Unfortunately, epilepsy is one of those conditions that it's very misunderstood and have so many stigmas um, associated with it and misperceptions. So that's part of our awareness is to, to raise um, the awareness level of epilepsy, the impact and consequences it has on individuals with epilepsy, and then also to uh, provide them with help, hope, and support um, to live as well as they possibly can with this neurological disease. One in 26 Americans will develop epilepsy, and epilepsy takes more lives than breast cancer in the United States. So even if you're unaware of it, you probably know someone who is affected by epilepsy. Well, my son, we found out very early on uh, that he had epilepsy, and uh, and uh, there was we had such a hard time finding out what to do or finding information or things. One of the biggest misconceptions about epilepsy are the signs of an epileptic seizure, and those misconceptions often keep those from receiving treatment as soon as they need it. A lot of people think, you know, the seizures are the grandmas where you, you know, it's the tremors and the, the jerks, and as my daughter's is the complex partial, she can just be walking and just, it'd just be a stare, you know, and it can either last from like 35 seconds to five minutes. So, and um, she'll have the automisms, you know, where it's just the hands, it's just different. My son was diagnosed in the third grade was when he had his first seizure. And since then we've just kind of tried to bring a lot of awareness to the disorder. He had been diagnosed with some stomach issues due to some of the symptoms. But after a while we realized that all along he had just been misdiagnosed with epilepsy because where they weren't your stereotypical seizures, they were just misdiagnosed. 